so in this question, you've been asked to find the derivative of h at negative 8. And h is this composite function that's got an inner and outer function. So we're going to need the chain rule. Now you can either think of the derivative of h as the derivative of the inside times the derivative of the outside with the inner plug back in, or with this u is the inner, v is the outer, u prime times v prime, either way. I'm going to go with that because I like it. v prime would then be f prime with the inside function u plugged back in. So that means g prime will be the slope on the g curve because that's what the derivative is. So as the I look at the g curve, well down here the slope is the slope of this line. I go up 1 and over 4. So that means g prime of 8, which is u prime, is equal to 1 fourth. Now the next thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need what is the inside function. The inside function is going to be g of 8. So if u is equal to g of 8, then as I look at my graph down here, here's g at 8. If I'm going up 1 over 4, then that means I'm also going a quarter every time I go over 1. So that means right here at 8, I'm at negative 1 fourth because I'm 1 quarter away from 0. So that means g of 8 is 1 quarter, but it's negative because it's below the x-axis. So that means my v prime is equal to f of that inner function u. Well, g of 8 was negative 1 quarter. So now I need to find the slope at negative 1 quarter on the f curve. So here's the f curve. Well, that's anywhere on this line. My slope is the same. Negative 1 quarter happens to be about right here, but it doesn't matter. The slope for that whole line is up 3 over 4. So v prime equals f prime at negative a quarter is the slope of that f curve anywhere in that section. Well, that's 3 over 4. So 3 fourths gets multiplied by g prime 1 fourth, and my answer is 3 over 16.